What's up everybody? So in this video, we're going to be talking about muscle and motility. We're going to use this guy here, Arnold Schwarzenegger, to help explain this topic. Now, we know in a living organism, just like me and you, we have so many systems working together. And when all these systems work together, we can function properly and survive, right? For example, one of our systems is our immune system. That system helps us um, fight infection. We have another system called digestive system that helps us break down food so that we can absorb them as nutrients. Um, now, another system that we're going to learn about in this video is our musculoskeletal system. Now, as the name implies, this system is pretty much just your muscles and your skeleton. Okay, the combination of your muscle and your skeleton. Now, the three things in your musculoskeletal system are your bones, your muscles, and your joints. Now, what is the function of our musculoskeletal system? In a nutshell, it's just to move around, right? From to, to be able to have a structure so our body can go to work, um, pick up things, move things around, function, right? It's anything related to movement and motility. That's the purpose of our musculoskeletal system in a nutshell, right? Now, first, let's take a look at the actual detailed structure of our musculoskeletal system because once we understand that, then understanding exactly how our muscles contract and the extra details, that'll be very easy. So let's start here. Let's take a look at this guy's arm here and look at all the structures we need to know. Okay, it's going to be all of these. So there's quite a lot, but they are pretty straightforward. So let's just get into it. So what's this right here? We're zooming into his arm here. These are bones, right? You can see this large bone here in his upper arm and then these other two bones in his, in his forearm, right? So his arm already has three bones, okay? We're, we're ignoring the hand, obviously. Now, what is the purpose of bone? Okay, so you may be like, well, that, well, that's easy. What do you mean? It's just there as a structure, okay? Well, the bone is actually pretty interesting because it's more complicated. It has a, quite a lot of functions which you probably weren't aware of. Let me show you. So first, like you thought, okay, it provides a framework. Imagine your body without bones. You'd be a blob of jelly just on the floor. You wouldn't have a structure. You wouldn't have a frame to be able to carry things and move around. You'd just be a blob right there on the floor. Okay, so the bone provides a framework, a structure, like the structure of a house. Now, second, protection of your vital organs. Remember, your, uh, you have a ribcage, right? And inside your ribcage, behind your ribcage, you have a heart, you have lungs, now, they are protected by this ribcage. So when, you, when, when your pal punches you in the chest, as a joke, luckily you have a ribcage there to protect your lung and your heart. If that ribcage wasn't there, your vital organs, like your lung and your heart, may be damaged, okay? So that's another function of our bones, protection, okay? Protection. Next, this one is interesting. Most people, a lot of people don't know this, but the blood, your bones are is a site of blood cell synthesis. So for example, your red blood cells are made in your bone, your bone marrow. Okay, so that's another important function. Your, some of your white blood cells are also made, made here. So very important. It doesn't only have this structural purpose um, and protection. It also is important for actually making blood cells. Um, and another one would be storage of minerals. So in your bone, you store calcium and phosphate, uh, which is good for keeping your bones strong and all that. Um, and other thing, um, And your body also needs calcium. So sometimes when your body needs some calcium, it can be released from the bone, okay? Uh, to be used somewhere else. So that's important. It stores other minerals. Now, lastly, it can act as a lever. This point is pretty similar to the first one of provide a framework. So your bone is like a lever. So when the muscle attaches to the bone, it can pull it and move it in different angles and directions to allow certain things to be able to happen. So it can act as a lever. And we'll look more at that later in this video. So that's important. Notice the bone has so many functions. It's not just there as a structure, okay? Many functions. Now, Notice these bones, they join here. Now imagine if, if this was a scenario. Imagine it was bone on bone. Imagine when you move your arm, pretty much you're grinding bone on bone. Wouldn't that mean that your bone would erode and that would cause a lot of pain and damage? That's true. So actually we have something here called, called cartilage. Okay, cartilage. Um, and what this does is it's pretty much a layer on the end of the bones um, that keep them smooth and it's good for stability, um, it's good for um, absorbing impact and reducing friction. So let me show you here, okay? It reduces the friction, in other words, makes it very slippery, so it's very smooth, because bone on bone would be very rough. So this is very slippery um, material that helps reduce friction, and it makes smooth movement because it's quite slippery, okay? 
So that's important. We have this layer already there. And you can kind of tell if you've eaten chicken before, you would know at the end of the chicken leg, there's like a layer and that's called like the thin, thin kind of transparency layer. That's the cartilage. You don't really need to eat that, but some people do. So that's the same thing on our bones. We also have this cartilage layer. Okay, very important. Now the cartilage, remember, it's only there for protection and reducing friction. It doesn't, it's not like glue. It doesn't connect this bone to these two bones. It's just there for um, reducing friction, that's all. So what connects the bones to each other? Because right now these bones are not connected. If you leave it like this, they'll just fall apart. So the thing that helps connect these bones to each other is something called ligaments. Ligaments are like little structures that physically go span from this bone over to that bone and keeps them together, okay? And we have a lot of those little ligaments working together, keeping the whole joint stable and together, okay? So that's what a ligament is, a little structure that attaches bones to one another. Okay, awesome. So now our, our, our joint is nice and smooth. There's no friction because of the cartilage. Our bones are now linked together. Now, what else are we missing? Can our bones move by themselves? Uh, unfortunately not, right? We need muscle. So obviously he will, and this is especially Arnold Schwarzenegger, he has humongous muscles. So the muscle is gonna come here. For access to our full-length premium videos and so much more, head over to teachme.org now.